Okay, so I was doing some drawing on, on the iPad and I, and I started thinking about how I'm gonna place these assets and, and manage them. And then I was thinking, I was thinking for the background and the platforms, I think I wanna go with a tile map. I think it's gonna feel the most authentic and it also kind of helps limit what I can do. And I think in this case, limitations are good. Also, when I was designing the background, it became more apparent to me that I don't know if I can go full black and white. I think the background's just going to be too busy and noisy, although I'm going to try it. So I, I've i never, I mean, I've done tutorials on how to build a tile map, and um, I don't know what to do. So I'm just going to watch a video and do it. So let me go do some research real quick. I'll be right back. And then we'll, we'll build a tile map together. Okay, right away. Tile set's easy. Right click, create tile set. We're going to call this, um, I guess we'll just do BG far. This will be the BG far tile set, but I have to sign it to a sprite and I don't have one created. So we're going to make one. Resize canvas. Great. Okay. So I can resize the canvas out from this direction, which is good. Cause I don't know what size I need. However, for the time being 16 times, how many pieces do we need? We want one, two, three, four, wait, nine. We need at least nine pieces. What's 16 times nine, 144. That's plenty of space, right? I mean, that's more than enough that we need. So let's do 144 by 144. That's plenty big enough. Is that tile map early? It's tile set. It doesn't have a tile set. And I can draw here. Can I do a grid to show a 16 by 16 grid? That would be great. Okay, let's go ahead and make the whole thing dark. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can count it. That's what I can do. Surely there's a way to see a grid. There it is. Ah, nice. Okay, good. So that's our 16. So we're going to use this to create our tile set. And I think we're going to do 16 by 16 for the background tiles because it'll be pretty meaty and pretty large. So what we need first is it's going to be an old house. I imagine it to be a wooden house. So when I was drawing on my iPad, I was thinking something like this uh, for the tile. But then I thought that would be too busy. And maybe, maybe it is too busy. But, you know, maybe we'll... We'll do it anyway, and uh, we'll see if it's too busy. Yeah, that seems good, right? I thought we could have windows as well. So these will be the continuation lines for the window. So that's window lines. So we do the same thing on this side. The goal here is to make it seamlessly tile. And then we'll say this is the window. That's kind of erasers this. Oh, I can do this. Oh, I can left click, right click. Nice. Cool. So right click, right click. That's good. That's handy. Window. So you can see some of my initial concern with it being too busy. We're going to do it anyway. And then we'll do the bottom of the window. And same, same thing. Got to tile it up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four. One, two, three, four. Doesn't seem right, does it? I did the math wrong. That's what I did. Okay, so there is a tile. This line will go across. And I don't like that that line does go across because I feel like that's too much. Just to force it to break up a little bit. So now we have like this cool creepy window. All right, uh, what else do we need? Some pillars? Sure, let's do some pillars. We'll do a top pillar, a bottom pillar, and a middle pillar. I'm pretty sure I'm not following any tile map or tile set etiquette, and I apologize. I'm just trying to do something for now. Let's be the top pillar. So put it like that. And that's gonna be bottom down here, right? So I guess we're gonna have a line all the way through here. What does this pillar on top look like? I feel like it looks like that. Then uh, just do lines. Pillar, I have lines. I mean, that doesn't look very good. You can see how noisy I'm afraid this is gonna make it. I'm gonna do less detail for these pillars. Let's do something like that. Keep it simple. So now we just need a middle section. So we'll continue with these lines across. Cause it's all gonna be against the wooden wall. This is great, great beginner level stuff. And my concern with it being too noisy persists. That's fine. Let's go ahead and break up this wall texture. Okay, we got some texture back there. And now we just need a mid middle shape. So it's one, two, three. So one, two, three. This is going to be just to use as a middle. And we'll continue down a little bit right here. You see that? And then we'll move over here. Just kind of like go like that. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's get too noisy again. Yeah, no, that makes sense. But that's fine. Great. So what do we have? We have wall. We have window. We have... Pillars. What are the elements we want in the background? I mean, eventually we're going to need like a drafty area. And this is going to be like a broken section of the wall or like an open window. But for fun, let's just see what a broken section of the wall looks like. This will be the broken section. Actually, no. I want this to be a broken section. 
that this is going to look like a broken wall when we're done with it. And what's a broken wall look like? A crack like that. That's good, right? It's progress, I would say. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be done. I'm not too worried about making it perfect. We'll have time to do that, I believe. Well, so now we got a broken window. A broken wall. So let's do another one, huh? We'll do a variation of that, so it's not always the same kind of broken wall. That's kind of fun. I mean, I feel like we, we need variation of this anyway to, to make it feel dilapidated. That's good. Uh, bu -bu -bum -bum. Hmm. Okay, what else do we need? You know, this is a great place to start. So we'll have this small tile set that we'll use. I don't know if I need to resize this. That's a lot of empty tiles, but let's just pretend we don't have to resize it. And we'll continue adding tiles later and expanding to be like, oh, this is too much detail. Can we get away with black and white if we do less lines per tile? Like that's one tile. And I'll do like variations of this, which might be better. And we, we could practice that too. Like if we have like four variations of this kind of tile, what does that look like? How does that feel? I don't know, but now we have it. We can experiment with that. Okay, cool. Let's try this out. Uh, and let's turn this into a tile set. And I didn't finish the video, but go ahead and just see if we can figure it out. 16 by 16 is correct. If I go to room one, let's create a new background layer. Oh, tile layer. Okay, that's cool. We did that. I have my tiles. We're so close to figuring that out. Zoom in. Brushes. Yes, I do not know what to click. One second. Let me go back to the video. Okay, so the good news is I was really close. I just had to <laughs> select the tile and now I can draw. Look at that. I can draw whatever I want now. That's pretty handy. I didn't make a very rookie mistake, which is basically it should be the subtext of this video. The first tile should always be transparent. I knew that. I didn't do anything about that. I wonder if I can copy my very precious drawings. Right. Why can I? Racing. It's still there. Edit. Where is it? Okay. Lead. Okay. All right. Listen, I just want to move this section. That's all. Hmm. Let's uh, let's just draw it. Because <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I don't. Why can't I draw? Did I break it? What happens? Oh, huh, isn't that weird? I can draw here. Um. All right. My game's getting screwy. Huh. What is going on? Can I draw here? All right, I can draw here. So let's just draw this real quick. Maybe there's like a hotkey thing that I don't know about. Fine, this won't take very long to redraw. Okay, so now we should go to room and we ship. There it is. So we can immediately test out if we had this entire thing. Ooh, you can tell. Let's just for fun. <laughs> let's see what this looks like. All right, uh, let's add some uh, gaps, more gaps, and then we'll put in some windows. I already have some thoughts on this. I hope you have some thoughts on this too, but I will tell you this feels really fun. This is really, really, really fun. Add a pillar there and there, there, like that, and this one like that, and this one like that. And let's go ahead and cap those off. Okay, so we got a fun background first. So if I hit play, it's very busy. <laughs> Some would say too busy, right? Okay, so keep that in mind. So for fun, let's do this, which what I'm demonstrating here is what it would look like if the wooden slats in the house were bigger. It's so fun. It's so satisfying doing this. Great, just and variety. All right, how does that look? Why didn't that save? Mm, is there a reason why that doesn't save? So that's better, right? But the problem is it's still too much. Like it's just, it's just very vibrant. I want to keep him to be the focus. So I think these need to be gray and not white. Can I add background layer? Give it a color, make it transparent. Do that for fun, see how that feels. Okay, so that's easier, right? It's easier to see. I'd rather keep the black. We can bring that back. I'm not too worried about it. But I, I definitely don't think the white needs to be as white. 
which I'm a little sad about because I wanted to go full black and white. But I think for the detail I want to add into it, it might be too much. This is fun though. This is really fun. I wish I could describe how fun this is. The only other issue is I don't know how to make a tile set move. So I would need to see if that still works because the idea is the whole background should be moving to the left with our platforms. And I would love to use tile sets for everything. So the question is, is can I move the tile set layers to the left or do I have to move the camera to the right? I'd rather move the tile sets to the left so I don't have to worry about the camera, which I'm sure it's super doable. And I think anything I want to do just sounds difficult. And just in my head, I was ready just to only have the elements move to the left and not the camera move at all. But I, I guess I can change it up once I design some better looking backgrounds. I know tile maps aren't for everybody or tile layers or tile sets, but uh, what I can tell you is it's super satisfying building. It's so satisfying. He's, look at this, like I'm just gonna build a pillar right here. Bottom. Boom, look, I made a pillar. Is that not just the best pillar you've ever seen in your entire life? Probably not, <laughs> but did I make it? And does it make me feel good? Yeah, yeah it does. That's so fun. Man, but how cool is that? Look at this, I made this background. Uh, I don't like it, <laughs> but I made it. And it feels pretty good. It's so feasible, it's so doable, it's so achievable. I just gotta design something that looks pretty. Hmm. This is kind of cool. I could just look at this all day.